Hey, in this video, I'll be talking about the Bodega 55 liter 12 volt portable refrigerator. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert with Sherburn Outdoors, and today we're talking about the Bodega 55 liter 12 volt portable refrigerator. Now, why do you need a portable refrigerator? I've gotten this question asked me a couple times. And the main reason is longevity and ice. I go out for like two, three, four day trips. Obviously, I like to eat good when I'm out and about. You know, I'm, I'm not pilgrimaging around or anything. You know, we make fajitas and everything else. But anyway, you gotta have a place to store all of those ingredients, materials, drinks. And there's a lot of options out there. I've been using, for the past three years, a, a very cheap Apple Cool refrigerator I bought off of Amazon for, I think, for like 200 bucks or something several years ago. It's worked great. It's 35 liter. Where it's fallen short a little bit is is when I go past one night. Things get tight inside of there just for me. And if I have anybody with me out and about, even the dog, things start getting really tight. So I wanted to up my game this year and go to a bigger one. I started looking around and at about that time, Bodega reached out to me and asked me if I would try out their 55 liter cooler with a handle and wheels. We'll get into that in a second. I was a little apprehensive about the handle and wheels and I have come around to that. Hey, full disclaimer, Bodega did send this fridge to me. I did not pay for it, so I'll give you an honest review. But this was great for me. I, I looked at this, this is perfect for what I do. Not be, it may not be perfect for everybody, but for what I do, it's absolutely perfect. This sits in the back of my Jeep. Oh, I lift up one of the seats and it perfectly fits in there. So let's talk about this really quick because this one's a little different. It does come with an app. So again, this is 55 liters. It's, it's really big, holds over 70 cans, is 15.9 by 27.2 by 20.6. So pretty big, it's well made. We'll do a walk around in a second. One of the nice things I want you to know, it does have a five year warranty, which is great. So the, uh, all parts around this are just one year for the plastic stuff, but the compressor's five years. I'm sure I'll be onto another fridge after that. It is a, it is a little healthy. It's 41.6 pounds, but you'd expect that in a, in a fridge of this size. But it's quiet. It's running right now. It runs at 45 decibels, which is less than a lot less than I'm talking now. So it's very quiet. I can barely hear it right now. I've got it in freezer mode, and it's it's working its way down. It does come with some power protection built in, so you can go low, medium, high, you can kind of configure what that'll be. So if it gets over that, it'll shut itself down and either not worry about your power station or the battery in your car. You know, it's got an app. Everything has an app now. This one has an app as well. Before we get around and look at how, how much is this thing? So it is on the upper up price, I have to say. It's about 509 bucks at Amazon. There'll be links in the description below. And they have a coupon there for 180 bucks. So, you know, you're looking at about 320, 329, I guess. Uh, for this. So for the size, everything, it is a good cooler. So I did some tests, as I always do, is, is with the power station. I do run the Blue Eddy AC 180, which has 1152 watt hours of power. You know, how long would this thing go? How, how efficient is it? And I was a bit shocked. This thing is very efficient. So I just hooked it up on the fridge mode, 33 degrees, uh, with a very full Blue Eddy at 100%, filled it up with some drinks, and it went 91 hours without uh, any recharge or anything, which is pretty pretty cool because I'm gonna be driving around. So 91 hours on its own is ideal. So this is a single zone. So what does a single zone mean? It means it can be a fridge or it can be a freezer. So my last one I had, it actually had a dual zone on it. Not once did I ever use them together out in the field. So I didn't feel the need for a dual zone this time, but if you do, you know, there's a lot of options and Bodega has several options out there as well for this, but I like the single one. I only use a refrigerator and I needed some space and this 55 liter, it's big. And so the freezer option on this, so the fridge went 91 hours, we reset everything and the freezer went 53 hours. So you can, and I had some frozen meals in here and some other things, some ice cream. So if you wanted to use this as a freezer, take it out with a power station, Again, the Blue 80 is about 1,152 watt hours. I went 53 hours, so pretty <laughs> compelling actually. Uh, what does it come with? So it comes with a 12 volt adapter that I've got plugged into the, the Blue 80 down uh, power station below. It comes with um, an AC adapter as well. And I will say it comes with an instruction manual. It's very useful. The, most of these instruction manuals are awful. They're, they're, just, they're just not very good. This one's very good. I was a bit surprised to walk me through everything. We'll get into the app in a few minutes, but how to set everything up. So let's take a look around. So if we see here, this is a you know, relatively simple. It's everything you'd expect it to have. Good quality, it's very hard, durable plastic. You got your compressor in the lower corner. You got your display up here that you can function. 
go up and down. I can put it in eco mode. Right now we're in max mode. It does have an eco mode option to conserve power. All those tests I talked about were in max mode. I mean, you can power it down. You can do all this stuff on the app as well. It does have some wheels and it doesn't, here, you can hear it right now. This is the max you can hear out of the compressor when it's running, very quiet. And so this is running in freezer mode. And if we look here, it's only pulling 41 watts off the Blue Eddy. So pretty sweet. All right, let's also look around at the top here. So our lid is very simple. It does have some measurements on it in centimeters and inches. I'm guessing that this is your fish in and you wanna measure your fish, I'm not really sure. And also has some drink holder at the top. I will never use these, but they're great. I mean, it does have a latch lid. So when you pull it up, we'll open it up, Look inside, very, very simple inside. We do have a drain hole if you got some water. It has something to hold the lid. You know, this broke on my last cooler. So we'll see how this goes. It does have a seal built in around the lid, and then it's got a nice seal right here where this connects to. And when you put it down, you know, it does seal pretty good. Been pretty happy with this. I've been out on one trip. You can see we got some mud here. And again, this is the Bodega Cooler. All right, it does have a handle. Now I will be honest, between the handle and the wheels, I was not sure I was going to like this. Now I will say when this thing is loaded up, it's heavy and carrying it from wherever to wherever is heavy. Being able to wheel it over there and then just lift it into the back of my Jeep Gladiator, man, that's nice. So I'm kind of liking these wheels. Wasn't really on board with that, but I am now. It also has a handle on the side here. All right, I am concerned about this. This doesn't seem, this is a little flimsy, but we'll see how it goes. And then it's got a big block you can hold on to here as well. But this is uh, basically the unit. If we go around the back of it, it's kind of similar as well. You've got ventilation for the compressor and then you've got your wheels here as well. And then you've got your input, whether you have it going to a DC power supply or an AC. In our case, we have it going down here to the Blue Eddy AC 180. So let's talk about operating this. We looked at the display here on the front. There's another way to operate this as well. So I have this wedge in the back of my Gladiator. If I want to look at it or if I want to make a modification I just want to check to make sure my temperatures are okay. You know, I'm out in the desert, it's super hot, just want to check. Sometimes you've got your coolers wedged in the back of your truck, in the back of your van, in the back of wherever, and they're not completely accessible. They may be on trays, so they have an app. I've got this organized in my camping category, and it's from QZ Smart. So I think there's a simple uh, central company that handles this for all of the cooler manufacturers over in China. I think a lot of these coolers are made in the same factory. If I looked at the outside of this, this, this was referencing the factory for Alpacool actually. So I'm guessing Bodega is probably a brand or at least their products are made in the Alpacool factory. So this, this app is very simple. You can have multiple devices on here. Right now I've got the U series, which is what this is from Bodega. And so I'm just gonna click on that. It was very easy to set up. It only took a couple minutes. And this app doesn't do a lot, by the way. I don't even know why it has a battery percentage here, but uh, you know what, I do know why. They do have a, a, a side <laughs> over here where you can put a battery in. I didn't see any options for any of that, but right now this, <clears throat> this has to be hooked to an external power, whether it's in the wall of your house or in this case in the power station that we're on. I can see right now we're at 23 degrees. I'm heading down to zero uh, because we have this in freezer mode. You can see we got our max temp mode set in. So you got max and you got eco. Eco, you know, it turns things off and on. It's a little bit more efficient. I never care about any of that stuff. I got my battery protection at low and then our voltage, you know, it's 12.8 right now. I can modify this temperature setting just by moving it around with my finger and it'll update automatically. It's nice. So that's what this main screen does. Um, you can change the top uh, from car fridge to whatever else you want to call it. And then at the bottom, we could either lock it so we can't make any modifications on the screen here. If I got kids and stuff and I don't want them playing with it, I can lock the screen. And on the far right, I've got more functions. And this is basically where I can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So this is nice. Some of the times we get these products out of, uh, you know, from, from Asia or from China or other places, and they're Celsius only. But in this case, we got Fahrenheit options here. I've got max mode and then I can do battery protection from here. This is really the most that you can do from this app. Not too much more, but I gotta be honest with you. It's a fridge. What else are you gonna do with it? You're gonna turn the temperature up and down and you're gonna turn it off. Just like we have at the bottom, we also have an off button. So we can control this thing and it's very nice. So that's, that's controlling this, whether you're in your car, you're in your rooftop tent. 
I gotta be honest, I was up in my bedroom doing some stuff and I just wanted to check, see how things were going with this. And I looked at the Blue Eddy, its app, and then I looked at this. So everything has an app. That is uh, the unit itself. Again, it's $509 and there's a $180 coupon on Amazon. So let's talk about some pros and cons. I'm, I'm really liking this. I wasn't sure when this first came out of the box whether I was gonna like it or not. There's a lot of things I'm liking. So first thing I really like is it's quiet. My other Apple Cool that I've had for over the years, you know what, it's pretty loud. It does similar things, similar functions. Functions, but it's but it's just louder. This thing's very quiet. I mean, you can barely hear it. Other pros is it's big. You know, there's a lot of space in here. It'll hold a lot of volume. So again, it's 55 liters. Uh I think it's gonna work really well. I went out for two nighter. It was fine. I didn't feel like this thing was half full. I probably could use my old one, but the wheels and the handle. I thought this was gonna be a con, and it can be a con. We'll get into that in a minute. But this was a plus for me. Dragging this thing from my house out to the Gladiator and throwing it in the back seat. You know what? It's nice. I'm, I'm a big, big fan of these wheels. I guess I could take this to the beach or to a soccer game or other things with my, if, my, if you have younger kids. So that was up. The app, you know what? The app is pretty cool. I, I, I've already found myself using it a couple times. Wasn't sure if I was going to, totally am. And it is efficient. If we looked at our tests again, 91 hours uh, with our fridge and, and 53 with our freezer, just running it straight off power. That's pretty efficient off just 1,152 watt hours. We can go the disc. It's efficient with that. Again, very, very efficient. Five-year warranty, that's kind of key. I like that the, the company's standing behind their compressor and products. Uh, One-year warranty for just like, you know, your handle and stuff like here. And then the power protection. I like that as well, that everything was built in. Some of the cons. You know what? This thing's expensive. I, I think uh, I think 509 I know they got a $180 coupon in there, which brings it down to about $329. But yeah, still expensive. Uh, single zone. Uh, if you're looking for a dual zone, this fridge is not for you. This is a fridge or a freezer. Perfect for me, but uh, it may not be for you. You know what, no baskets. This is just a big open shell. There's no baskets to house, house anything in here. I had baskets in my last cooler. I kind of liked them. So no baskets. Uh, the wheels and handle, you know what? This may not be for everybody. I, I liked it, but it, it, it could be a con. I could see that. And no sticker. <laughs> Where, where's the sticker? Everything has a sticker these days. With, with that said, this Bodega 55 liter, it's, it's great for me. It fits my Jeep Gladiator perfectly. It'll fit in the back of everything else. I've been pretty happy with this. You take that coupon off of that 509 and get it down to 329. That's actually cost effective for what you're getting with this and the amount of efficiency and the amount of volume. So with all that said, again, there's uh, links at the bottom to this and I'm looking forward. You'll see this out on the trail with me when we got some uh, camping trips coming up. Hey, if you found any value in this, please click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when we got new content out. Everybody have a great day and thanks for watching.